Good morning all. Um, I've discovered a bit of an issue with the inverted PWM signal uh, which I'm generating from this Arduino down here. Um, if you remember I used uh, a little piece of uh, setup code to invert channel B. Now channel B is coming out of uh, PWM pin 3 and channel A, the yellow trace, is coming out of PWM pin 11. So I used this little bit of code to invert channel B, but there's a bit of an issue. So on the uh, top pot here, I can vary the uh, PWM duty cycle by turning that. So if I turn it down low, I can get the duty cycle to go lower and lower and lower until it finally goes off. Off. Now, if I turn that back on, I'm triggering on the uh, top trace, that's why this one went all uh, asynchronous. If I increase this by turning the pot clockwise, I can increase the duty cycle so that it goes higher and higher and higher until it's 100%. Uh, okay, let's do the same thing. Let's put that at 50% and do the same thing with the bottom trace, which is on this bottom pot. So I'm going to go higher. Now, interestingly, because I've inverted this, to make the duty cycle increase, I've actually got to turn the pot down. So let's increase the duty cycle higher and higher and higher, almost at 100%. Bang, it goes to zero volts. What's that all about? 99%, it's mostly 5 volts with just a little bit of zero volts. 100%. It goes to zero volts. Well, that's no use, is it? And correspondingly, at the other end of the scale, now to reduce the duty cycle, I'm having to turn this clockwise. So I'm increasing the voltage going into the analog input, that's what I'm saying. Increasing it, increasing it. But of course, what we're doing is we're reducing the duty cycle. So I'm down to, I don't know, 1%. This is mostly down at the zero volt level. Go all the way and bang, it jumps up to five volts. That's ridiculous and pretty useless. I can't really use that. Now, I've got a funny feeling I've seen this before. I think I've seen this on the PIC microcontroller because I did the same thing. I inverted one of the, well, actually on that PIC, particular PIC, there was only one PWM. I inverted the output for some reason. And I seem to remember I had the same thing. I went all the way to near zero and it jumps to five volts go all the way to very nearly all five volts and it jumps to zero volts. So this is a peculiarity of the PWM hardware inside the 80 Mega 328P, but it's a bit of a nuisance because uh, that's not gonna work for driving a MOSFET lower and lower and lower duty cycle and then suddenly have it switch on at full 100%. That's not gonna work. Now, someone suggested, um, I think it's this one, Mr. Lithium 69 says, why not just use an inverting input uh, and or a buffer with 7.4 series logic? So the suggestion there, I think, is to use uh, some external logic rather than inverting the PWM hardware uh, in the 80 Mega 328P microcontroller itself. Use some external inverting logic and Yes, that's what I'm going to have to do. I probably won't use 7400 series logic, but I have thought of a way of doing it, and uh, that means revisiting my decoy MOSFET driver. So unfortunately, uh, this line here, which is uh, to invert channel B, this uh, oaring TCCR2A with hexadecimal 30, uh, I can't really use that, so I'm going to have to take that out. So let's uh, comment that out. Uh, yeah, that's a real shame. Um, let's just do an upload uh, and uh, compile. Now, who was it that said, um, can we have the source code for this? Well, yes, you can. Here it is. Right, so taking that line out has resulted in uh, both the outputs on pin uh, 11 and 3 are now non-inverting. They're both uh, positive polarity. But at least now on this second channel, as I raise it towards 100%, it goes to 100%, and as I lower it down towards 0%, it goes to 0%. So that behaves 
completely normally. I'll have to, uh, of course, narrow that slightly relative to the other uh, MOSFET so that we get this non-overlapping thing. But uh, yeah, this is going to have to be inverted externally. More on that soon. Cheerio.